Hi, my name is Jeff Walker with Parky Heater Products. In this video, we're going to look at our hockey puck inspired Gen 2 operating switch to operate our Gen 2 engine heater such as the 5 kilowatt engine heater that we have behind me. This operating switch has on-off control, uh, temperature regulation, has two operating modes, engine heating and cab heating, has timed functions for program startups, has systems monitoring, and it also accesses the self-diagnostics. Let's get started. On-off control. Our Gen 2 Hockey Puck operating switch has three buttons. Our on-off select button, operating status button, and switch modes button. In standby mode, the system's water temperature will be displayed in degrees centigrade. To turn the heater on, we simply press and hold the on-off select button for three seconds. The on symbol will be displayed, the heating symbol will be displayed, now the maximum temperature that we've set for the system will be displayed temporarily and then the display will revert to showing us our system's water temperature. To turn the heater off, we simply press and hold the on-off select button again for three seconds. Off is displayed, the heat symbol disappears. If the heater has been operating in burn mode, it will commence a three minute cool down before switching off completely. Operating modes. The heater is designed to function in two different operating modes, water temp mode and automatic climate or AC mode. Water temp mode allows you to control the maximum engine coolant temperature that the heater will maintain. This is the most common operating mode. This mode allows you to set the desired maximum operating temperature from 30 to 75 degrees centigrade. While operating in this mode, the heater will switch on and off according to the requirements to maintain the desired maximum coolant temperature. Automatic climate mode allows you to control the maximum cabin temperature that the heater will maintain. This is a less common operating mode and is only practical for use with cargo and, heat and uh, cabin heating applications. This mode allows you to set the maximum cabin temperature between 14 and 40 degrees centigrade as measured at the control switch. In this mode, the heater will maintain a coolant temperature between 60 and 75 degrees centigrade. However, once the maximum cabin temperature is reached, the heater will go into standby mode. To switch between operating modes, first the heater must be operating. Once operating, to switch modes we simply press the switch modes button three times. As we can see, the icon showing the operating mode status has changed. This reflects the operating mode that we're in. To set the desired maximum temperature, we simply move this dial. Now we've set the water temperature at 70 degrees centigrade. After three seconds, the display reverts back to the current water temperature. Operating status. To access the heater's operating status information, we simply toggle through the operating st status button to see the seven different parameters that are stored here. Once we've completed this, we return back to the home screen. To best demonstrate this, let's start the heater and toggle through the different status. First, we see the operating voltage. Next, we see the uh, glow pin status. It's 83 UA while the glow pin is operating. It's 0 UA when the glow pin is off. Next, we have the blower motor speed. This is measuring the RPM 
and it goes from 0 to 9915. Next we see the fuel pump pulse frequency from 0 to 2 pulses per second. Next we see the timed shutdown function. We'll look at this a little bit further later on. Next we see the either the water temperature if we're in water temp mode or we'll see the cabin temperature if we're in AC mode. Next we see the flame sensors uh, temperature in degrees centigrade. And then we return back to the home screen. Timed shutdown. The timed shutdown function controls how long the heater will continue to run when turned on manually. The default setting for this is two hours. However, we can change that by using the operating status button to access the timed shutdown function. Once we've accessed this, we can adjust this by turning the selector knob and we can adjust this anywhere from 15 minutes right up to seven hours. And it's changed in 15 minute intervals. Once our desired time is set, we simply press the selector button and the time is saved. This time will be retained for future startups. Timer functions. The control switch can be used as an automatic timer to automatically turn the heater on and off at desired times. This is done through three simple steps. First, we're going to set the current time of day. It's important to note here that it's a 24-hour clock. Second, we're going to set the desired start time. And then third, we're going to set the desired stop time. Let's say that it's 4.10 in the afternoon, 16.10 on a 24-hour clock. We want the heater to start at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, run for two hours, and then switch off at 8 o'clock. This is how we do it. First, we're going to press and hold the clock button and hold that for three seconds to enter the time of day mode. The double colon is flashing and the minutes are flashing. We're going to set that to 10. Now we press the selector button to enter the hours. We're going to change that to 16. Again, it's a 24-hour clock. I see we got 11 here, so we just press that again to get to the 10. Now we press the clock button again. Now we just see the top colon flashing in the minutes. This is how we set the desired start time. The minutes is zero, that's what we're looking for. We press the selector button, and now we can set the hours to six. Press the clock button again. The lower part of the colon is flashing and the minutes are flashing. Again, we're looking for zero minutes, so we just press the selector button again to enter the hours. Use the selector button to get 8 o'clock. We simply leave the timer alone, the control switch alone, for 5 seconds, and the display will revert to the home screen. Now, it's important to note that the heater will start up at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, run for two hours, and shut down. But it'll continue to do that success successively. So it'll do that the next day, and the next day, and the next day after that. To cancel that function, we need to reset the start time to zero. So again, we press and hold the clock button. Now we're in the set day of a time of day we we'll press the clock button again to see to set the desired start time press the select button to enter the hours and we zero this out we let that sit for five seconds and now we've disabled the automatic start timer that's it
Additional features. Here's two handy additional features that help us upon installation of the heaters. First, to prime the fuel pump. To prime the fuel pump, we simply press the select button five times. The fuel pump will continue to pulse until we can bring the fuel up to the heater. To turn that off, we simply press the select button again. Also, to purge the water system to get the air out of that, we can simply press and hold the status button. That will start up the water pump to allow us to get the air out of the system. To be able to turn that off, we simply press the select button. Self-diagnostics. If the heater's ECU detects a fault during operation, the display will flash and an error code will be displayed. To simulate this, we're going to disable the fuel circuit by removing the connector to the fuel metering pump. If we come back to the control switch, we see that it is flashing an error code 03. If we consult the heater's fault code chart, number 3, we see that number 3 is a fuel pump open circuit. 